Welcome back to Long Box Diving, where we explore comics and story arcs pulled from the Long Box. And it is New Comic Book Day again. Um, and honestly, today was probably a, a bigger day than I expected. I did not expect to see a, a lot of books on the shelf that I, you know, I'm interested in. So that's a new thing because last last week was a little one, and the week before was a little one. So this one actually was a lot bigger uh, of a week. So. There are a lot of things in here that I'm going to try. Um, a new writer came on, or a new uh, a new book that I haven't picked up before, or I picked up one or two, and I'm, I'm giving it a, a trial through three. Um, I usually give books, you know, three or four issues really hook me. Otherwise, go away. All right, so first thing I picked up, and, and honestly, I only picked it up because I got uh, Batman, Fortnite, 0 0.1, 2, and 3 this weekend. On my comic call, if you watched that video earlier, you saw I got those three of those. So this is number four. Um, I picked that up specifically to go with the other three that I pit purchased this weekend in my comic call. I'm probably going to sell them later. Uh, I'll tell you the truth. Uh, never, probably never going to read them. All right, so the next thing I actually got was the Justice League 62. Um, I'm not sure if this is the first issue that uh, Bendis is doing. Um, I, I'm not sure. So it's got Ram V on it as well, I believe. Um, they kind of built up to this team with Black Adam, Green Arrow, Hippolyta, um, Batman, Naomi, um, Superman, Black Canary, Hot Girl, Aquaman, and The Flash. Um, I'm not even 100% sure what Naomi's powers are. Uh, I've not been a big fan of Bendis recently. A lot of old Bendis stuff was really good. Uh, the new Bendis stuff was like, mm. um, that's what we got. That's a pretty cool uh, splash page. So I, I'm not 100% sure on how this is going to run. Whether Bendis is going to do a good job with this, I think the Dark, uh, yeah, Dark Avenger or Dark uh, Jelly J Justice League Dark is going to be in here as well. Uh, maybe it's a follow-on story or something like that. So I'm going to give this a run um, until uh, I don't like Bendis or if Bendis proves to be, you know, Bendis. Then we'll have. Uh, then I got Green Lantern number three. Now, so far, I got one and two because somebody else recommended it. They they had gotten one and two, and they really enjoyed it. I think it was Thinking Critical, um, and they, they really enjoyed one and two. So I kind of grabbed this. Um, it's a little bit different. I'm not I'm not a big Green Lantern fan. I don't know a lot about Green Lantern um, specifically or the core. So I mean, it's, it's so far it's been it. the first two issues were really kind of interesting. Uh, we'll see how this keeps going. Then we got Batman. 109. This is the the B cover. I know it's kind of got the got the glare. Don't, don't apologize for the glare. That's uh, the B cover. Um, uh, James Indian and Hymenus has been doing a fantastic job with this, so I'm really kind of excited about reading this. Got some new villains, new bad guys, things going on. That's cool. Then we got a limited series, um, the Crime Syndicate. This is four of six. Um, this has been okay, but I've already gotten the one first one through three. It's only six issues, so I'll probably carry on and read the finish the rest of them. Though it hasn't been one of those that really hooked me, so I'm not hooked on it. But it's only six, so I'll, I'll just you know, yeah, I'm I'm gonna probably buy them all. All right, next we have the Hellions number twelve. Hellions number twelve. Now, so unfortunately, this is a. Hellfire Gala issue. Um, I couldn't care less about the Hellfire Gala. I, I just, I couldn't. I, I think it's stupid. I think the idea is stupid. I think the outfits are stupid. Um, not not a fan of any of this. So, but Zeb Wells has been doing a great job with the Hellions. Hopefully this issue, we can get past this stupidity and, and move on to like what the X-Men were doing is actually moving the story forward and actually seeing you know what's going on with uh, Destiny and Mystique and you know uh, Nimrod up in space, all that kind of stuff, man. That is what I wanted. That's what I like. I hope this kind of does that, even though it's a Hellfire Gala tie-in issue, which I, I just couldn't care less about it. Um, all right, so next we have Firepower number thirteen. Firepower number thirteen. Now, or number 12. So, oversized 12th issue spectacular. Um, I like that. Right, $4.99, and I get a bunch of extra pages. So, that's cool. 
Um, this has been a great story. I got the trade pair bag when it first came out, the, the prequel, and then into the first issue. Um, and this has delivered every time. Robert Kirkman, Chris Samney as the artist. He does a great Daredevil too, by the way. And so the, the issue, like the martial arts, you can feel it. You can feel the fighting. A lot of this, it's great. So if you're not on this, you need to get on this quick. This is fantastic. So top of the pile. And then I got Iron Heart, Iron Fist, Heart of the Dragon number six. I'm not sure how long this is going to keep going um, as a series. I don't know if that's going to be an ongoing series or is it a limited series, like 12 issues, something like that. But Larry Hama's doing it. Um, Dave watched her. The, the art's pretty good. The story's been pretty good. Um, I, I, it's been okay. So I have some issues with it. Um, you know, it's kind of weird in some places. I, I, I get bored. I find myself I got bored in a couple pages, but then it picked back up, and it. So it's kind of a, it's kind of iffy on me, right? So I'm not 100 percent sure on it, but it's been it's been okay. Um, I just don't know how long. I, I probably won't keep it forever if it's going to be an ongoing series. I'll probably drop it, but so far it's been okay. And if it ends, you know, six issues, twelve. It's just that six. So if it's twelve issues, I'll probably keep it around for a little bit longer. Uh, we'll see. Then we have Amazing Spider-Man number 67, The Chameleon Conspiracy Part 1. Oh, uh, I'm not a huge Nick Spencer fan, okay? Um, Spider-Man's been pretty good. It's, you know, it's been, I mean, not super duper, but it's been pretty good. I've enjoyed it. I've enjoyed some of the different stories. I didn't care so much for the hunt. It was okay, but it just seemed like a bunch of extra issues thrown in for no reason at all this has a lot of action it has a lot of depth a lot of you know storytelling going on um a lot of things happening we you know there's this underlying plot that's still going by the way it's been 60 something issues still going that would be nice to see some some things resolved and move move into a different under underlying plot um but overall it's not bad okay so it's something i'll probably i'm going to keep picking up so then we have this one, Savage Avengers, number twenty-one. A Ghost Rider, see Conan on there. Um, Gary Dugan and Patrick Zercher. Um, again, these guys, uh, Dugan and Zercher, are both solid. They're not the, the best of the best, but they're, they've been solid. So I, I, I've enjoyed Savage Avengers. I like the fact we have some savagery in the Avengers, and they're willing to do what needs to be done. But then they're robbing a bank for some reason. I don't know why. Um, I'm not sure if it's a good team anymore or a bad team. So uh, I'll just keep reading because it's not find it interesting. Oh, Conan fighting. Uh, um, yeah, that's, that's it. I will tell you. Ghost Rider, maybe, and with a with a with a spa, uh, symbiote sword. Weird stuff going on. Um, oh, that's a cool cover. Yeah over the next one standing on top of a dead tarantula in a, in, a, in a ring of fire so it looks like good stuff um that should keep going so i'll probably keep that around a little bit longer just so i can figure out what's going on and then you know we'll decide at that point then we have a uh x-force 20 uh benjamin percy and josh kasara this has been solid for me too i really enjoyed this the only issue again is it's a hair hellfire gala tie-in which as i as you've heard earlier in this um video i couldn't care less i don't care about the hellfire gala uh, i hope this isn't boring and we go through this stupid gala and i hope it turns into more fighting and killing things because um i think they'll be a lot better than some of the outfits we see here yeah a lot better than some of the outfits we see here oh uh Deadpool. So it should be interesting. Um, Benjamin Percy has been doing a good job. Josh Gassar has done a great job. So hopefully they carry the book through this stupid, just stupid idea of Hellfire Gala. All right, so those are the books we picked up this week. Um, uh, it looks like some of them look pretty good. Some of them are on the edge. Of, they got to hook me soon or they're gone. And then one is just I got to complete a series so I can sell it later maybe. So uh, that's my picks for the week. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you got, what you like, and we'll see you next time here in the long box.